2,000 people in Maryland have reported seeing something unexplained in the sky over the past two decades. Commonly known as UFOs, the unknown objects have a new name and new attention from the government. Tonight, WJC investigator Mike Helgren takes you inside the mysteries in the sky. This is a UFO, unidentified flying object. America has long been fascinated by whether there's life outside of Earth. Reports of flying saucers are nothing new. And whether that life is trying to somehow contact us. If you saw a UFO flying over Baltimore, what would you do? Would you be afraid? Do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Absolutely. This year, Congress got serious about what used to be called UFOs, now called UAPs, or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, objects seen in the skies that defy an easy explanation. Almost Almost invariably, the response is, well, the public couldn't handle the news. That's, that's totally bonkers. Hey, think, dude. The government is investigating at least 650 potential sightings since 2004. It's heartening to me that so many people are coming forward now. We're getting significantly more reports than was the case just six months or a year ago. Peter Davenport has tracked hundreds of reports from Maryland on his website. He directs the National UFO Reporting Center. In 1923 reports from the state of Maryland, there are UFO reports coming from probably most cities in the country. Many of the thousands of reports worldwide are centered on the U.S. East and West Coasts, the Middle East, and the South China Sea. Experts disagree about whether the UAPs are extraterrestrial, but agree there should be no stigma about reporting them. Right now we need a system where pilots can report without fear of losing their jobs. Which brings us to one of the latest unexplained sightings. It went across the sky this way and only lasted for maybe 30 to 45 seconds. Greg Fasello of Port Deposit recently went outside to plug in his car and saw something very strange flying low over the skies of Cecil County. Oh my lord! If it was a shooting star or a comet of some natural occurrence, I wouldn't even have bothered to send it to you. But this thing looked uh, made by some intelligent life form. Is the search for life elsewhere? A few weeks ago, NASA called for better data and more study of these objects. Do I believe there's life in a universe that is so vast that it's hard for me to comprehend how big it is? My personal answer is yes. Some are concerned about the risks UAPs pose to military and commercial aircraft and whether the mysterious sightings are part of surveillance by China or Russia. These pilots, they see it as urgent for a national security reason to have domain awareness. They could crash into these objects. It looked like several vehicles and then it broke apart, then it streamed out and it just faded in the sky. Vasello may never know what flew over him in Port Deposit. It could be extraterrestrial life. Um, I don't know. It, it, again, it didn't look it didn't look natural. Like so many others, he questions what's really out there. Whatever it was traveled across the sky. Oh my lord. It was nothing like I've ever seen before. The mysteries in the sky. Mike Helgren, WJZ. A mystery indeed. We could always imagine. Oh, <laughs>